The United States Securities and Exchange Commission suffered another stinging defeat in its campaign against the crypto industry yesterday, a development described by the pro-XRP legal community as a profound setback. On Tuesday, January 30th, the SEC announced its intention to dismiss its high-profile case against the crypto firm DEBT Box. The case which originally accused DEBT Box of defrauding investors out of nearly $50 million by selling unregistered securities took an unexpected turn when the SEC sought to withdraw in their lawsuit. This decision follows a series of events where the SEC faced potential sanctions from Judge Robert Shelby of the Northern Division District Court of Utah for reported misleading the court. And Johnny Deaton, a prominent attorney in the pro-XRP community, voiced his criticism of the SEC's handling of the case. He stated, Gary Gensler, this disgrace falls under your leadership or the lack thereof. Deaton pointed to a pattern of questionable legal strategies by the SEC, including the Ripple case and the grayscale Bitcoin ETF denial. Uh, he emphasized that the findings in these cases should have prompted a reassessment of the SEC's approach. The agency continued to act with a complete disregard for the Olympic truth and for justice. Um, he added, uh, and despite those incredible findings, findings that would make any lawyer or leader cringe from embarrassment and humiliation, your agency's lawyers continue to act with a complete disregard for the truth and for justice. Now, you run away attempting to shield your unethical lawyers from facing the very law they swore to uphold. Uh, another legal expert from the XRP community, Bill Morgan, uh, highlighted the severity of the situation, saying, what an extraordinary embarrassment that due to the misconduct of its attorneys, the second transition uh, would go to this length uh, to seek to avoid sanctions. Morgan's statement underscores the unusual position the SEC finds itself in, retreating from a case to possibly avoid further legal complications. Uh, popular XRP community lawyer Jeremy Hogan also offered a harsh critique of the SEC's decision to back down. He said, Wait, the SEC thinks that a multi-million dollar fraud was perpetrated against Americans, but lets it go in order to save itself embarrassment and or money. Kind of like getting your girl pregnant, then forcing her to have an abortion to not have child support obligations. Uh, the SEC's filing revealed an admission of certain missteps in the case. Uh, while not conceding to all of the defendants' claims, uh, the SEC lawyers acknowledged that their presentation of evidence was flawed and that they uh, lacked uh, concrete proof of overseas asset transfers, uh, a key point in their initial allegations. In response to these developments, the DEBT box defendants have aggressively contested the SEC's actions, arguing for a dismissal with prejudice and demanding compensation for the legal costs incurred due to the SEC's actions. The defendants contend that the SEC's conduct caused enormous damage, both financially and reputationally. As the SEC attempts to navigate this dismissal without prejudice, allowing for the possibility of reopening the case in the future, the legal crypto community is closely monitoring the outcome. This case shows once again the SEC's regulatory overreach and the lack of ethical behavior. At press time, XRP traded at 0 0.51224